When Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, he left behind a secret. It wasn't the flag. That's now in a museum. It was a set of scientific instruments that measured things like moonquakes, solar wind, and lunar dust. Some of these devices are still sending back data decades later, and it turns out that this quiet legacy might be more important than the landing itself. Here's why. As part of the Apollo 11 mission, Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin planted a seismometer on the lunar surface to measure vibrations on the moon. At the time, scientists thought that the moon would be a dead, silent place. But the seismometer detected over 2,000 seismic events, including some that scientists think might have been caused by water. That same year, NASA deployed a network of instruments called the Lunar Surface Magnetometer Array. It measured the moon's magnetic field and found that it's 100 times weaker than Earth's. This data is helping scientists learn more about the moon's core and its mysterious magnetic tail. And finally, there's the Lunar Dust Experiment Package, which is still sending back data today. It measures the amount of dust on the moon and how it moves around. And it turns out that the lunar dust storms are way bigger than we thought. All of this data is helping scientists better understand our closest celestial neighbor. And it all started with one small step for man and one giant leap for science.